Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. John Hood, what didn't you get a chance to say last week, but you'd like to now? We talked, Tom, about the legal wrangling regarding absentee ballots and should they be counted in violation of state law after election day. Uh, if they're postmarked on election day, should they be counted more than three days after the election and so forth. Earlier in the year, we talked about the, and it is true, that we were going to have a big upsurge in the absentee ballot uh, vote and mail-in ballot voting because of coronavirus primarily. Uh, but some made, I think, including people who were in positions of authority, made some rather uh, uh, over-the-top predictions that 40 percent or 50 percent or something like that of votes would come in by mail. Of course, that didn't happen. It was never going to happen. And what I'm fascinated by that is uh, th there is something about people going to the, ba to the polls. It could be on Election Day. It could be an early vote uh, site. But there is something that people, it isn't just distrust of the mail, though I think that's a factor for some. I think there is a, a charge that people get from going somewhere and standing, maybe in a long line, maybe in a not so long line, and casting their ballot. They feel like a citizen, and it is not something they are, they are likely to give up easily. That was certainly the case with my wife and myself uh, when we went to early voting. You just really feel like you've done your part. You, you, you've participated in this in this democracy. There's something mystical about it. Uh, it, it, may, it may not be strictly logical, but it is a real thing. And particularly when you get that little sticker, you know, that says, I voted. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com. <laughs>